Moving on, let's talk about Chip Kelly. Good old Chip and this the UCLA the one I have Bruins. The most a lot of a lot of issues with this. The one. hardest time trying to figure out what I think of this team. So they went three and four in a shortened season last year. There were some uh, exciting moments. There were other moments where they were close, but no cigar. You know all that kind of stuff. Their uh, their win total is seven. To go over is minus one hundred five. To go under is minus one twenty five. SP Plus has got them eight and four this year. FPI has them six and six. So the seven, of course, falls right in between those two uh, analytics. Tons of returning production. They are number eight in the country. They return ninety two percent of their guys. I mean that's just absurd. Uh, they you know a promising twenty twenty season uh, meant that like this is kind of the win now season for Chip Kelly. Like if you're gonna do something, you probably need to go on and do it with yeah. with you know your situation at quarterback and all that. There's only one game on the schedule uh, where they're projected to be more than a touchdown underdog, so that means a lot of coin flips. So that's that's definitely good. The issue is that we got like seven coin flips. Well, but, that so the way I break the schedule down is is I you know I highlight the game in red if I think they're gonna lose it definitely. Highlight it in green if I think they're going to win it definitely, and then I highlight it in blue if it's a coin flip. I I got three wins, three losses, and everything else is a coin flip. Yes, yeah. Uh, offense was was finally both efficient and explosive last year, so that was a step in the right direction. They returned everybody but their running back, um, but they do get Michigan running back Zach Chardonnay in. Yeah, uh, Chardonnay. Excuse me. And running back um, in Chip Kelly's offense is the least of my concerns. Yeah, because he's always going to find somebody. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. You, you don't know that guy's name. It don't. You, yeah. You'll know it soon. Yeah. No, you and if absolutely. something happens to him, you'll know the next guy's name. It, just run him in, man. Ro- rotate him in. It, it Let's is go. just a revolving door. Uh, the defense really does need to speed up their improvement, though. Uh, yeah. Kelly brought in several P5 transfers this year uh, to help that, including Alabama linebacker Ali Keho, Notre Dame linebacker Jordan Ginmark, uh, Heath, excuse me, uh, this is somebody that I did not know, so I was having to write the name down. Not but they, they brought in a bunch of help, but they've gone from like 108 to 96 or 95 or whatever to like 81st last year. Like, they're they're improving, but if you're wanting to win in this conference, you, you need to step that up even more so. I think the talent that they bring in, I think the fact that this is a really experienced bunch, especially in this division... I think that's going to help. I've got them going over the seven. Like, I think they're going to win more of these coin flips than they're going to lose due to, uh, you know, the the quarterback helping, like him coming back, or I think it's his third year, yep. uh, Dorian Thompson-Robinson. Um, I I just, I like this team. I think, I think Kelly has got this thing figured out now. So, I've got him going over as well. My logic is it's, a, it's all on Kelly. This man has never been bad at football coaching in yeah. his life. All of his losses or struggles have been, I think, easily explained away. Yeah. And I I just think he's finally been somewhere long enough to where when it comes down to the X's and O's, I think he's gonna outcoach most of those people that are gonna he's gonna have to deal with coin flips in. Yes. That's that's exactly what I think. Exactly what so I think. So it's all on Chip Kelly. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.